I'm here to reveal my final craft room makeover. It is done and I am very, very pleased with how it turned out. Those of you that are new, I have a previous recording of how this craft room looked before I started and this is the final reveal and I will let you know how much it cost. Okay, on this wall I painted my little wall decoration black. My crate that I, I upcycled and added legs to and painted them. That was basically free. I added a tie back on the left side of my closet and made a curtain to hide all that clutter. That was maybe the curtains were 25 cents, 50 cents to make. I had the material. My mother-in-law must have bought it at a sale and I had a bolt of that. And the the tool at the top came from a, a tag sale and I, I bought, a, bought a bunch of it so I think that cost maybe a quarter and I had the ribbons. My shelving unit was from two bifold doors. I spent 24, 23 or 24 dollars on them. Cut them in half and the shelves were all free because it was free pallet wood. This item I already had, as I described in my first video, I did that when I was about 16 years old. This is a little island I had in my kitchen. I put a fresh coat of paint on it. There's chalkboard paint on the side so I could write on there if I like my list of wanna do's, things I wanna get done. It's on wheels so I can roll it out and it's got a piece that flips up on the back so I can use it to cut material on. And you can't quite see with it sitting back there my storage unit. It's in a previous video. The little shelving unit in the corner cost me $16. I paid $8 for the little bins at the Dollar Tree and the little shelves came from the crossing. They were a dollar piece and the wood was more pallet wood. It was free. I added a picture on the wall. It says Trading Post. It's a little whimsical and painted the frame black to blend match, match the rest of my decor. And the brown shelves, shelving unit, I painted the same almond color, added new knobs, painted the hinges black, and the top black. And I am pleased that I have some place to display things now before it was filled with books. And there's another one of those curtains. I think that one's the one that, yeah, that's the one with the rabbits on it. I added the little shelving unit behind my sewing machine so I can put my pens and my sewing machine oils in there. My wonderful 301 Singer, I love it. It's gear driven and it's slant needle and it, it's almost like an industrial. It goes through just about anything. The little three shelving or four shelving drawer system I bought at a yard sale for three dollars and I upcycled it in one of my earlier videos. I took the top and the off and the wheels off because it wouldn't fit under there. And as promised, I said I wasn't going to put the cabinet back in here. I added some more of this free shelving I got from a gentleman. Thank you very much, John. I put some two by fours on both of the cabinets and I have all this space underneath now and I brought up a different chair and I have my other cabinet. When I was editing this, I realized I didn't show you guys the thing I was so excited about. When I added this countertop, which was out of a doctor's office, it's finished on both sides, I left it out from the wall by about two inches so that when I'm working on quilt tops that I don't have all the material bunched up behind the sewing machine. I can literally just push it, it falls over the edge and it's easier to work with. There's one more thing that I forgot to show you is this little light. I've had it. It works out great for help out with seeing to sew and then it folds away. I know you've seen this little clown in my other video or my first video I should say. My grandma made that for me when I was little. She was an excellent seamstress. I'll never match her. These were patterns somebody framed. I've had them for quite some time. The one in the middle had a different kind of frame on it. it did not match the other two and I looked for a long time and I couldn't find the same size but I don't think unless I pointed out that it would be very noticeable that it's smaller. 
And I got tired of painting. This little ribbon holder I made, I showed that to you. If you turn that whole piece this way, it used to be a dresser drawer. See if I can back up from it. Dresser, front of a dresser drawers. And it's just the molding and I made the box and I put my ribbons in it. I just need to make a note to myself to quit buying ribbon when I see it on sale because I've run out of room to store it. And my file cabinet that I painted almond also. And more patterns, embroidery hoops, dog patterns. More patterns. More patterns. More patterns and picture frames. And here at an auction, they had a whole display of thread. And I bought the display. And the girl that was bidding against me bought the display. And all I wanted was the thread. So it didn't cost me much of anything. And there was the rest of that tool and that little thing. And over here, I have Velcro and I have a little thing that's got nothing but elastic in it. These drawers actually have the stuff that was in the sewing machine cabinet. Needles and bobbins and attachments and all that kind of stuff. Like I said earlier, this has got a whole bunch of extra knitting needles. Nods and ends. I am, like I said, overly pleased of all the room I have now that I didn't have before. And I really, just by reconfiguring the storage, gave me so much more. Okay, are you ready for the breakdown on the cost of this room? I'm so excited to tell you. I spent $24 on paint. That was four quarts of oil-based paint. I spent $24 on primer, which was two cans. I spent $20 on rollers and brushes because I threw them away after I was done with them. A dollar on screws for the drawer pulls because some of the drawer pulls were missing and some of them were awfully short. I spent $16 on the bins and the shelving unit. One dollar on spray paint, which covered quite a bit, few things. Um, 50 cents for knobs and 25 cents for the tool above the curtain. Grand total, and I rounded up, was $77 to redo this room. I'm just really pleased, including the furniture, which all the furniture that I have in here was $195. This whole room, to put it together, was $272. And if you come back next week, I'm going to bite the bullet, embarrass myself. I'm going to show you the next room I'm going to do. The spare bedroom used to be my oldest son's room, then it was my youngest son's room because it's bigger he moved out of this room and I still have his stuff stored in the closet he's in the Air Force I have things out of my RV in there I have my oldest son's old bed um, I got a lot of stuff in there but I have to show you the before so you can appreciate the after and to go through how cheaply I did it so join me next week